In this video, we will cover a possible fix for the error, the selected boot device failed. Press enter to continue. Sometimes when we try to boot from a bootable USB drive, or, after cloning a disk, when we try to boot from it, we may get an error stating that, the selected boot device failed. Press enter to continue. On pressing enter, the system shuts down or, the same message is shown again. To resolve this error, we need to access our system's BIOS setup. Depending on the system's manufacturer and model, this can be done by pressing a function key, delete key, or escape key. You can find a list and a link in the description that can help you in finding the BIOS access key for your system, as per the manufacturer. For my system, it's the escape key to access the system startup menu. Then to access the BIOS setup, I will press the F10 key. We have now entered into our system's BIOS setup. The interface may be different for different systems, but the process and the options will be quite similar. Now, we need to access boot options. For us, it is present under the system configuration menu item. Use the arrow keys to navigate to system configuration. Note that, some BIOS may have system configurations under the advanced menu item. Here is our boot options item. Navigate to it and press enter. Here, under boot options, we have legacy support settings. For my system, it is disabled by default. We will not touch this setting for now. Note that the legacy support setting in our BIOS is the same as boot mode. We can have UEFI boot mode or legacy also known as CSM boot mode. In our case, legacy support is disabled. It means that the UEFI mode is selected. And if it is enabled, then, it will mean that legacy or CSM mode is selected. So, for us right now, the boot mode is UEFI. The next item is secure boot. It is enabled for us by default. We will disable it. Navigate to secure boot and press enter. We will select the disabled option and press enter. We can see that our secure boot setting is disabled. Now press F10 to save the changes and exit the BIOS. You will receive a prompt stating that there has been a change in the operating system secure boot mode. Here we are required to type these digits shown on the screen and then press enter. Note that we will not see anything on the screen while typing. So, I would suggest using the normal number keys on the keyboard instead of using a number pad if your keyboard has it. Because on the number pad, the number lock key may be off and might not have a status indicator to notify. So, type these digits from the keyboard and press enter. This will validate the changes made to the secure boot settings in the BIOS. Now, your system should normally boot into the operating system without any error. But suppose, the error persists, or you get another error stating, no boot device found. Then, we will need to go back to our system's BIOS setup. Note that our disk drive is healthy and is being detected by the system properly. So I am ruling out any physical connection issue between the disk drive and the system. We will go to system configurations and select the boot options again. See, our legacy support is disabled. That means we have UEFI boot mode selected. We will change the legacy support to enabled. This will mean that we are setting legacy or CSM boot mode for our system. The point is that we are changing the boot mode for our system. If the system previously had UEFI boot mode then, change it to legacy or CSM boot mode. Or, if the system previously had legacy boot mode enabled then, change it to UEFI boot mode. But keep the secure boot option disabled. Now, press F10 to save the BIOS settings and exit. The system should boot normally without any error. I hope the video proves useful. If you like the information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.